Okay, today we are going to uh, take a just a, a very blocky, simple car and turn it into a drivable car in Altera. And I made it very simple on purpose because uh, the first examples that I looked at were uh, they were they were very complex, really cars with a lot of parts, and it was hard to see what was essential and what was what was just uh, gingerbread. So this has nothing but the the essential things that we need to work with. We've got a chassis with glass windows. We've got four tires and a steering wheel. At the end of the project, we want the, the windshield to be clear. We want the tires to rotate, and we want the steering wheel to turn when the car turns. We could have created this model in, in any modeling program. I'm, I'm assuming that you know how to model. From this point forward, we're just going to do some things here in Blender that need to be done so that uh, Altera has everything that it needs to work with. Uh, in this window here, this, this model hierarchy, we see that all of, all of the meshes are at the same level. They're, they're underneath each other. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, select all of the meshes and make them children of chassis. And the way we do that is uh, start at the bottom and then shift click as we go up so that everything stays selected at the same time. Shift click and then uh, chassis will select that last. Whichever is selected last becomes the parent. And then we come over to object, parent, object, click once, object, click again. And now you see that we've got to click this plus sign in order to expand the hierarchy. And now that we see that the children are shifted to the right, which means that, that this is the parent and they come under the parent. Now, the next thing is when we click on one of these uh, ch child meshes, we see that, that we, we need to see a manipulator for each child mesh. And what has happened is, for some reason, when I export from my modeling program, all of the manipulators get repositioned to the origin of the vehicle itself. So we need to set it back so that each mesh has its own manipulator. And the way we do that is we select one at a time the child meshes, and we come to Object, Transform, origin to geometry and what that's going to do is it's going to move the origin of that object back to the object that, that owns it okay you see it moved so I'm going to click the next one object transform origin to geometry select object transform origin to geometry Select, Object, Transform, Origin to Geometry, and finally the Steering Wheel. Select, Object, Transform, Origin to Geometry. So now uh, each of these, when we, when we select them, We see that it has its manipulator. That'll be necessary later. So the only thing we have left to do, we, we've assigned children to one parent, and we've assigned a manipulator to each, each element. So now uh, the only thing we need to do here in Blender is save this as an FBX. So export so FBX. And we'll smooth it up a little bit. Not that it matters. It's just a blocky little car, but we're going to make it just a habit that I have. Set faces for smoothing instead of the default method. Come back to our car test. Raid Car Blender FBX. Export as FBX. And that's all we need to do here. Now we need to open it in Altera. to import that FBX we just created. Control F7 to open the FBX importer. Open FBX, um, navigate to your folder and we're already in it. So there's red car FBX, open. So now what we've got is a project named red car blender, a parent 
chassis and we've got five elements that are children and we've got two things we just don't need so starting at the bottom and working our way up we're going to click on camera do not import click that box lamp click it and while it's highlighted click do not import each of these elements click so they're highlighted and then click convert to bone and it'll turn a different color to let you know that you've just got it converted to bone okay now we click the topmost element in the hierarchy and click create package when it says import complete close close escape quit okay now that we have uploaded the FBX file that we created to Altera we should be able to come to our packages folder and find a red car blender folder right there it is now when you first create an FBX it'll have these three files it'll have the material file the object definition file and the packages package file now, you'll never need to change anything in the package file but you will frequently need to change these two so when we load the car back we want it to be a vehicle we don't want it to just be a static object so we're going to start by editing this object definition we'll start by changing physics to vehicle once you assign a physics type you have to give it a script so we're going to make that red car blender dot js for javascript and that's all we need to change in here okay then we also want to change our material file you, you'll see that that it has already changed the, the uh, texture names to DDS but it's up to you to actually create the DDS files okay I'm looking for glass this this will be the glass in the vehicle I'm going to change diffuse and color this is red green blue and alpha so I want to change the alpha to about 0 0.3 and this to 0 0.3 And then I want to change the roughness to zero so that it makes the glass very smooth. Okay, then we're going to leave everything else the same except for the text car texture. We're also going to change the roughness of the car to zero. And that's all we're going to change here. Now, we need more than these three files. Um, we need a script, and I've already created the script, and we're not going to go into that. But we are going to, uh, th these are the support files that we need. Uh, we need a, uh, a sound file. Uh, we need that little GIF that, that serves as the thumbnail in, in our uh, assets menu. We need the script and we also need all of our DDS files. So I've got them here in this other folder ready to rock. So Okay, so now that we have all of this stuff in this folder, uh, we're ready to load it back up into Altera. If the script executes, when, when you load it, the script is going to try to execute right away. And if it references any files that aren't here, uh, it's going to crash, so that's why you need to do this before we go back into Altera. We're going to spawn one of these vehicles, and since it's a car, it's going to be a land vehicle. We'll scroll down to... There's our little thumbnail, red car blender. Select it and hit spawn. And then I'm going to hit C to be outside. And then we're just going to press W, ASD, 
to drive around. You'll notice that the uh, the glass is indeed transparent and the, the surface finish on the car is very shiny. I left the uh, the top of the car fairly pyramid shaped but uh, you know this is not a tutorial about modeling it's a tutorial about how to get it loaded into Altera. Look at the reflections on the side of the car. That's pretty cool. Also notice that when uh, you, you press A and D to turn the wheels that the steering wheel also changes. So if you're making a, a movie zoo video and you've got a character in there um, uh, whether you can see his hands or not uh, if you can get a little bit of the wheel in your scene that's a little extra something to add realism and that's pretty much it we created this car brought it into Altera and uh, you can see that it drives so that's it for this tutorial thank you very much